Did you just wait 20 plus hours to play Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 and after that long 1 hour queue you finally get into a match? And you die to FPS drops and lags? Well in this video I'm going to show you the best way to get higher FPS, lower ping, and no FPS drops so stick around to the end of the video as all of these tips will help you guaranteed. Alright so once you guys load into Fortnite as you guys can see it is Chapter 5 Season 2 so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings and you're gonna wanna make sure you have all of the same settings as me. You wanna have windowed full screen, VSync off, frame rate at 240 or whatever your monitor is, low graphics performance mode, brightness at 100, use your contrast at one, try it nope at 10. This will give you good colorblind settings for storm and everything. Make sure you don't do these because this will slow down your game. 3D res resolution you can have from 80 to 100%, but I use it at 100% because I have a high-end PC. Analyze virtualized stereometry off, view distance near, textures low, meshes low, show FPS on, and report for performance stats off. If you have this on, it will slow down your game so much because it has to report every second to Epic Games what your stats are. The next thing we're going to go into sound, and you're going to make sure your sound quality is low. You're gonna make sure that your background audio is off and then you're gonna click options on subtitles. You're gonna make them off, extra small, white, none, and clear. The rest of these things are just personal preference. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to game UI and make sure your HUD scale is at 60%. This will make it so your Epic Games has to run less on your game. Then you will come to the very end and you wanna make sure player surveys are off and you wanna make sure these are off. Filter mature language, text chat, and public game stats, you will want this off. Press apply and click back. Now we're gonna go onto our desktop. To talk about my favorite thing to lower my ping, gear up booster, and... You guys are probably wondering how in my latest videos I went from getting around 60 ping in game to around 20 to 30 in game consistently without any packet loss, and that's thanks to Gear Up Booster. Gear Up Booster ensures the best and most stable network performance when connecting to any server. Gear Up has full access to network carriers and game servers across the entire world to ensure that your connection is the best at any time. A lot of pros are using it, such as Asian Jeff, Miro, Sway, Tickle, Zen, etc. So it's totally not bannable. It is also latency free, which means if you you normally have 100 plus ping, Gear Up will give you 50. Optimizing the connection for people who are suffering from bad network issues, you are also able to change regions with a click of a button, so you can play with lower ping. And if you are on console, no problem. Gear Up also has the Hyper Gaming Router made for you to get lower ping. So go download it from the description or from the pinned comment and let me know how low your ping goes. Okay, once you get onto your desktop, you're gonna open up the new NVIDIA app. This app is literally the best thing ever. It takes GeForce clipping software and puts it with the NVIDIA control panel. So you have literally all of your stuff in here. Game ready drivers, you just press install. These are up to date. I'm gonna update this one, but make sure these are up to date because that can improve your important performance. Make sure on your program settings that you don't have the game optimized. If you have it optimized, it will slow down your game and I just recommend it not optimize. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your recording software and make sure your statistics are off. And then you're gonna to wanna to go back to it and make sure you, you don't have instant real, or you don't have highlights on while playing Fortnite. This will record every clip and it will make your game so buggy. Okay, once you do that, you can close out of this. And if you want, you can come into control panel once you get onto a control panel, you want to go to adjust image size settings with preview and you'll want to use the advanced 3D image settings and you're going to want to copy these settings like perfectly. These are the best settings for Fortnite. Okay, once you copy those, then you're going to go to adjust dust color settings and make sure you have all of these. These will make your game more clear and you can see storm better. 80 brightness, 100 contrast, 101 gamma, and 100 digital vibrance. No hue because that will change your color. Once you're done with that, press apply and OK. And you can close this out. The next thing we're going to do is go to your windows. You're going to right click, press run, and you're going to type in percent temp percent. Press OK. You're going to take all these folders, right click on them, and delete. And then when it says this, press do this for all of your items and do skip. Do color items, skip and it should recycle all of these bad files. Once you're done with that, you can come into your documents, you can go to your videos, and any clips that you don't need, you can just delete. So if you don't need these clips, you can just delete all of them. Deleting all these 
cliffs will open up space on your hard drive or SSD and will make it cleaner. So if, see how many clips I have? I can just take all these, right click, press delete, and then I'm good. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is come up to your recycle bin and you're gonna want to take all of these and then right click and then press delete and press yes and then close that out. That will make sure that you're not rendering all those files in recycle. And the next thing when we get in settings is you're going to come down to gaming. You're going to go down to game mode and you're going to make sure game mode is on. Then you're going to go to related settings and go to graphics settings. Make sure you put your apps onto high performance, the ones that you use. So Fortnite and I use OBS and I want these two to run, be running the best on my PC. So in order to do that, you just press browse and then you go into local disk, binaries, Win64, and then you click the Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe and if you want to do another app like obs you'll go to options or you'll go to uh, browse and you can go into your other hard drive and go in through your other stuff and find your app you can do this for any app but i recommend only having it for two as it will run your two these two apps at the highest it will prioritize them Okay, once you close that out and apply them, you'll be good. And what we want to do is go into Process Lasso. I love this app, and you're going to click on this, and you're going to download it. Once you download it, you're going to double click on it, and you're going to open it up. Once you get in, you're going to want to go in, click on File, Config Profile, Create Config Profile, name it Fortnite. Press OK, and then you're going to go down, and you're going to find your Fortnite. I don't have Fortnite open right now, so I'm going to go do Discord. So you're going to right click on your thing, CPU priority, always make it high. Then you're going to go to CPU affinity, always select CPU affinity and make sure CPU zero is unchecked. Press OK. This will make it so your PC prioritizes Discord and will make it perform way better. You usually do this for Fortnite or a different game, like something that would run horrible like COD and it will improve the game so much. Once you're done with that, you can just close out and it'll save your settings. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your Epic Games Launcher. And once you get into Epic Games, you're gonna to go to Library and you're gonna click on these dots and go to Manage and then you're gonna press Verify Files. Once you click on the three dots and start verifying your files after you press Manage and Verify Files, this will get rid of any unwanted files in Fortnite and it will give you better stable FPS because it's only prioritizing the main files in it. Once your Fortnite is verified 100%, it should be the cleanest and safest version of Fortnite ever. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on the three dots on your Fortnite, go to options, and you're gonna make sure that your Fortnite installation options are only Fortnite Core and Battle Royale and pre-downloaded stream assets. Assets. This will make sure that it renders stuff before you get in the game so you lower or so you have higher FPS and not as many drops. You can have saved it world downloaded, but I just don't because I don't use it. Then click apply. And then the next step is verifying your file. Once you're done with that, press refresh library and then close your system. If you guys like this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps out my channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, click on the video right here. Peace, guys.